Hi and welcome to our Santa's workshop. It's that time of year where we kind of have to get up, come up with some ideas uh, with what we want to do in this month. Uh, there's only a week left before it is Santa's. So uh, it's kind of a tradition. Um, I, every year I come up with a, a Christmas decoration and uh, everyone can make one of these uh, decorations uh, regardless of religion or whatever because for me uh, Christmas are not a religious thing. It's a fun t uh, and um, good tradition we have so it's a uh, cozy stuff, so I love it and uh, I do uh, stuff like this every year but only in the December months. And if you go to my site today, I uploaded, uh, I uploaded this um, picture of some uh, Four millimeters beard uh, uh, veneer and some uh, square sticks and a few grill sticks and a two nails and that's what we have here and that's the material I used. So and I have already built it and some glue and a little color and so on, but uh, no nothing fancy. So, but now we will see what what I came up with. And yeah, we can use it still. I built a wheelbarrow, an old wheelbarrow. So you can see this is the four millimeters veneer, and uh, that can it don't have to be uh, beards or what you call it. And uh, you can see sticks here and some drill sticks there and then some paint on and a, a wheel I cut in a, a little thicker piece of wood and uh, and then I put some sticks in, uh, some uh, square sticks in there. So, so now we can, I thought that was a fun idea. And then I painted it, as you can see, so it looked kind of old. Just some. Uh, and that's what we we're going to make a Christmas decoration on this year. Just so that we don't make the same stuff over and over again. Even that tradition is kind of what we do, <laughs> the same stuff over and over again. But I will take a plastic bag that you use in the kitchen to uh, just to put the, the, the clay on because then it's, I guess you will use, uh, I will use this uh, old oil based uh, uh, oil based uh, model clay, but uh, you will probably use ordinary uh, uh, pot pottery clay. So, and that's fine. Just remember, and even if you don't use a wheelbarrow like this, build one of these, you can. You can uh, this put a plastic bag under the stuff you are putting it on because otherwise it's difficult to get it off or a piece of paper or whatever because it kind of grow into the if you take a plate or something, it kind of, when it's dry, it's kind of difficult to get 
did all the part. Go. Put this there. And we will take one more big one. And take a knife here. Do you know I use this for my when I model figures to stop motion. But I don't guess you have stuff like this laying around, so pottery clay is very fine. But the good thing with this is you can use it afterwards. After Christmas when we take all this down. Oops, more plastic. And I have had this on the the heater, so it got a little hotter. It gets a little more soft then. little more so we can uh, or else uh, I will use some brush to to uh, to decorate with and if I don't get up then the brush are gonna stick up like that so we will take one more and then that's enough spruce did I say brush yes but I meant spruce <clears throat> so is it off? Yes, it is. to work with when it has been under heater for a while. Radiator. Yes. Yeah. Press it a little together. Okay. And the reason I use uh, plastic to this oil bait stuff is that it's kind of It is oily, so the oil will get down in the wood. So. so I think that's good enough. And then I will take some spruce. And I took one of these, but you can also we use one of these. <laughs> I 
I will take something I forgot. I forgot the most important stuff. Because this, this year we'll make this as a calendar light. So I had one of these lying around from last year. So uh, and then we wanted to stay right. This and like this. I think that is kind of. Maybe we should move this a little backwards. <clears throat> and we will. Oops, not that way, this way. See? And I don't know what the English name of this is, this is but this is a, a, a spruce type we call Norman. And uh, the reason for that is that it holds uh, the needles better when it got inside the heat. So. That's a reason for that. And the reason I am a little careful is that I don't want the wheelbarrow to break while we are doing this. It shouldn't do it, but you know, when we are live, it would look very funny if it did. So I will be very careful. Not to break it. Take this away, this away. And maybe it's easier without this paper, cardboard. And uh, And I kind of use the theater uh, method that you have it high back and then you get it smaller here in front uh, uh, so that you can see the light one. Maybe we should do this so you can see because this, you, the idea is every day until Christmas you burn it down. I don't know what your tradition is. So that's why everyone here in my country know that. And, and in Germany too, and in Norway and Sweden, whole of Scandinavia knows that. But I have people coming around from India and so on, many nations far away, and I don't know what they do, so that's why I'm saying it. And in this country, there is a lot of new people with other religions that don't have that tradition, but 
they can do it anyway because it's kind of a uh, in a cold dark time here in uh, Scandinavia then we take a little nature and a little light in because there is some time before there is summer again so so regardless of what then you can do it it always fun to have some nice things to look at when you so now I think I am a little more this problem with this is when I make it this early in this in, in the months it will probably lose all the needles or I could do but uh, whatever but if you shall use the idea to anything then you will only have a week to do it right because the tra tradition here in my country is that it is always ready to to the first uh, to the first Sunday in in the Christmas month See? and I think had a lot of this. <coughs> Maybe that was not needed. Take something here yeah. to grab it off. Uh, oh, what the camera! There's not, there's not much room to do this when it all need to be in front of the camera at the same time. I guess you will use the dining table or the kitchen table. There's a lot of room for it. Yeah. Because we want to hide this stuff here. We don't want to look at it. And remember to be careful with light and spruce, living light and spruce, because you can burn everything down. Never leave the room where this is on. That was kind of a little soft. See, I can cheat. This one there. A little 
cross. So, maybe a little piece more to hide the stuff around the side. Go away. So I bind my about my hands about there. Don't matter that something hanging over here is kind of looks fun. So and then I think it's more or less straight. And then try something different. I don't know if that will work. I will go in front, of, I will use the next camera, uh, this one. Yes, because I will go in front of this one. And it's not that. See? And now we can do like this. Where did I put them? Sorry. Yeah. See, we have flowers in here. take a couple of these they are made for the I have made these for for the stop motion movie because that's it's about two boys running around in the forest in uh, stone age so and the forest is big so we need many flowers. I don't know if you can see. They are not that big, but there. No, that's enough. One always has to stop in time. And then, where did I have that? I have that over here. And then I made some small one of these also to the uh, 
I'm made in the same clay as, as maybe I should be like this. And then, and this are always made in, in that clay. You can see where I'm the focal piece. see now what now we put it here And I will put a little of this stuff here behind here because here are some white spots. And I will take something else. I have Now the clay is starting to get a little bit more cold and therefore a little stiff. Is that good or is it not? It is it not. Absolutely not. I think we will do something. Boom. And one thing that always is good that uh, if you decorate it where it uh, where you want it to stand, if you want it in the middle of the uh, in middle of the uh, dining table or on the kitchen board, uh, uh, kitchen uh, board, kitchen table in the, in, the, in the morning when you. The whole family uh, wakes up and you get your your see and the last stuff is this little lady. Uh, I have not made her. This is a port one, old one, but uh, see 
Walah. That was my idea to, and remember always to stop again. The, you know, uh, you can keep putting on and putting on, and uh, it's not. The kind of uh, stuff here is uh, kind of the, the the main piece is the wheelbarrow, and uh, but and in front of a lot of ca uh, screens, it's not that it idle place to have it. But you can see, and you can you can you can give it a little. And. Not that way. See? A little flower and little adventures when the kids are looking at it at, in the morning. Right? And it kind of looks like an old one. And it's this one. So that was my idea for that, and uh, I will uh, send again here uh, every week in December, every fr Friday in December months. I will uh, uh, I will send uh, maybe more. I don't know. It, it depends, but. Uh, We'll make our snow town, and I have some idea to new stuff we we're gonna make. So, I will hope you will follow me at uh, pixelfantasies.com, and uh, so you can see what we are up to. But uh, until then, and I will not say ho ho or Merry Christmas. I will first say that when we get to next week. So, bye bye. Thank you.